Hello guys, what is up? In this video, we are going to show you how to use Envato Elements to After Effects. Now, before we begin, a little bit of spoilers, but don't click off, right? When you see a video of this title from, from others, that, that's clickbait. I will tell you that how to use Envato Elements to whatever program, especially when it comes to editing software, it means that you get uh, assets from Envato Elements to subscribe to Envato Elements or use the very minimal free options that they give you every month and then use it as an asset whether it's a video template or a stock footage or music or sound effects whatever uh, and use it to your uh, editing software in this case After Effects right <laughs> so we're gonna show you how to do that or how to onboard and pretty much adjust uh, in After Effects uh, it's very simple. It's not hard. So that's what's up. And again, for Envato Elements, for those who don't know, Envato Elements is a website where you could, well, a premium website where you could get, again, here, stock footage, video templates, music, sound effects, graphic templates, graphics, 3D presentation templates, photos, fonts, add-ons, and more. So what does that mean? If you're a new video editor or you're a video editor and you just got uh, a decently sized client. A lot of decently sized client uh, that has, say, uh, a decent sized YouTube video, a uh, YouTube video YouTube channel. So maybe a thousands if they're monetized, right? Uh, a lot of times they do have, uh, an, an, mostly most of the time, an, an Envato Elements account that you can use, right? But if not, and you want to do this, it is sixteen fifty per month. So $16.50 per month, you can cancel anytime. It says here, unlimited downloads, 20 million plus premium assets and lifetime commercial licenses. What does this mean? It means that uh, for only $16.50, you get to download as much assets as you can with their huge, huge library. And Vital Elements has one of the best media libraries when it comes to premium. Lifetime commercial licenses, meaning if you use an asset, say a sound effect, music, uh, stock footage, you know, um, then you won't get, uh, you won't be copyright struck, right? The problem with this, though, that nobody is saying is that the annoying part about Envato Elements is every download you need to license the thing, and you need to, sh uh, you need to sh say it's kind of like a, a fill up form. You're gonna, it's like an app, a small application form. What you're gonna do when are you gonna use this what are you gonna use this for so on and so forth which is kind of annoying but it is cheap for that right and you really can't stockpile this right and st by, by stockpile i mean you cannot for example i want to download a million stock footage you need to again fill up that small form so that you can get the license for that stock footage Right, and you can only use it once. If you want to use it again, you get you gotta download it again for a separate license. That's the annoying part about Envato Elements, which a lot of people don't seem to mind. For me, it's kind of annoying. Uh, Storyblocks is better, but Storyblocks is more, much more uh, expensive. And in my opinion, Storyblocks has a better library. But hey, this is Envato Elements. So once you signed up and signed in and paid for this. Uh, and you want to look for whatever it is that you want. For example, you want a video template, right? You want a video template. Let's say you choose this one, speed ramp video template, and you download this, right? You click download, bam, you're good to go, right? Uh, you will now need to put this uh, on your Adobe After Effects. But then again, video templates, you can just go by After Effects. So as you can see here, Premiere Pro, After Effects. So if you click on After Effects, this is going to be all After Effects uh, templates. So as you can see here, if you want to get this, just click download and you'll you'll be good to go. Uh, and as you can see, if you hover, you're going to see the effect, how it looks like, right? So you don't really need to click. But if you have a somewhat slow internet connection, you do want to click and open a new tab so you can see it properly, right? Which is, it's, it's whatever. Um, but if you don't have... $16.50. You can go to envatoelements.com slash free dash files. So that's their website. Slash free 
dash files. So every month, uh, Eduardo Elowitz, uh gives out 12 hand-selected files, including fonts, presentations, videos, and more that you could download for free, you know? So, for example, you want to get this one. So, uh, New Year Lightroom presets, but, you know, this is not uh, a Lightroom template. Uh, friends having parties. Um, so, these are, for example, New Year's holiday, right? If you want to download this, like, again, just quick download. You could just click it to, you could go to this uh, files page to, you know, listen to the audio file or whatever, right? But once you have downloaded this, we're going to go now, we're going to trans transition to after effects right so to use whatever asset or template that you got from your envato elements uh that you've downloaded to your computer uh first step is to select the right template right so before you begin choose a suitable template that matches the theme style and purpose of your video content and then download it to your computer what that means is that's a that's a, that's a tidbit of a tip right uh <clears throat> if you're creating a video for youtube or whatever Make sure that the template or the effects or whatever it is that you've downloaded for Envato matches what you're making. Because if it doesn't, it's gonna stand out like a sore thumb, not the not the way that you want it to stand out, right? So that is step one. <clears throat> step two is getting started with the template. Of course, you need to locate the same template that you've downloaded on your computer. So if it's a zip file, you need to extract it or double click it to unzip it. So among the extract files, you need to look for the .aep file and then open it. So if the template was created in a previous version of After Effects, you may need to convert it so that it will be compatible to your uh, After Effects version that you are currently using. Step three, uh, you need to customize the template. So personalize the template by replacing placeholder text, images, and videos with your own. Use the project panel and simply delete unnecessary elements that you don't want and replace it with the ones that you actually want to add. So again, <clears throat> uh, all of these templates are going to be there by default so if you want to change anything if you want to change the text or font if you want to add an image or add a video or replace some uh you can do so as long as you have the assets to replace it if you don't for example if you want to change the font to another make sure that you have the font on hand or you've only already installed the font on your pc because if it's not then it's going to stay the same right so that is step three now step four uh experimentation and customization so Experiment with various templates, parameters, including colors, fonts, animations, and other elements so that you can give your video a unique look and express your creative style. So again, uh, a lot of people use Envato Elements or some, another one, Storyblocks, and they don't really tweak uh, these templates that, they are, that, that they're using. So for example, they're just going to use everything as is. So they want a, if it's a plug and play sure you don't need to change your font i mean your, your fonts uh you, you can you do need to change color a lot of times but for the most part nobody changes the font style nobody changes the animation they don't they don't adjust it to what they want they want a plug and play template and envato elements do have a lot of those uh that you can use right so again if you're a more artistic or creative person then maybe you would have to do this more Right. So, for example, in this in this option here, as, as you can see here, uh, we we change the uh, the fire from standard to like uh, like the Game of Thrones uh, fire, right? Like uh, uh, I forgot what it's called. Uh, it's the green one, you know, when when Tyrion uh, beat uh, Stannis in Blackwater, uh, where they loaded a empty ship with. Uh, I can't, I, again, it, it, it escapes me. I, I can't remember what it's called, but you, you get what I mean. Uh, this is a change that you can do. Uh, again, you could you, there, again. Uh, After Effects is a bit of a, a step up from, say, using Premiere Pro uh, for more like really visually uh, altered imagery when it comes to uh, YouTube videos, for example. A lot of people do use After Effects. Me personally, I don't really use it because a lot of the videos that I use uh, or do, I mean, a lot of the videos that I do, well, we don't need it, right? So again, you get, you get, you, world's your oyster when it comes to this. Set five, finalizing and rendering. So after completing the template setup, click the rendering button to create the final video. Once you're done, you can now enjoy the result of your creative work and share it with the world. So what does rendering mean? It means that your, your, your After Effects program will, uh, will process it so that it runs smoothly and it doesn't 
it's not janky, it doesn't lag uh, before you export it as a video, right? So add to render queue, which means, uh, and you can set up uh, a lot of things under uh, on your render queue, like uh, what type of file format it is, you know, you know, and, and a lot of other things. So when it comes to like, to make sure that your file, your video file is at its best quality, right? Um, <clears throat> so again, this might take a, a lot of time depending on how how much you've added right to the video if it if it's heavy when it comes to templates and effects and your computer isn't uh super you know it's not a super computer pretty much it's not like industry level computer then it like rendering will take a long time especially if you, your video is long form which means over 10 minutes it's gonna take a long time so just be mindful of that right and yeah that's pretty much it that's the video hope you liked it like comment share subscribing that bell icon we'll see you on the next video